Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir Us. I work as a project coordinator and curator in Oberlich Association. Tonight we are uh, hosting the last event as part of our uh, public uh, program called Eduard 2020. And uh, this event also brings to end our course of contemporary art and curating, which was uh, running during the last two months. And in which we invited curators, uh, artists, uh, cultural workers <clears throat> from different countries to uh, support uh, the participants in the course with their uh, projects and their research on the topic of periphery. Uh, more specifically, we are uh, interested in the relation between the periphery and the center. And the last model <clears throat> this week is dedicated to curatorial practice and to artistic strategies um, of work outside of institutional context, outside of big cultural uh, traditional institutions as we know them specifically for our area. These are houses of cultures, these are museums, these are uh, concerts, halls, cinemas, most of them that were built during Soviet period of time, and many of them which are in decay today. Um, and uh, tonight we will uh, ha we have uh, as guests um, a, a couple, a duo, an artistic duo um, uh, from um, Bishkek. Uh, their name is uh, Moradbek Jumaliev and Gulnara Kasmaliyeva. Uh, they are living and working in Bishkek in Kyrgyzstan. And, and they graduated respectively from Zurich Academy of Fine Arts in Moscow and from Muhin Academy of Art and Design in St. Petersburg in Russia. Uh, artists participated in numerous international exhibitions and biennials, curated Bishkek international exhibitions of contemporary art, a project of art East School of Contemporary Art between 2009-2019, public art festivals like Art Prospect Bishkek. Artists also received the Prince Cloud Award in Amsterdam and they also were nominated for Artist Mundis, uh, Wales International Visual Arts Exhibition and Prize of the National Museum in Cardiff. <coughs> uh, is, we are very happy, Murat Beck and Gulnara, to uh, see you again uh, this time in our program. And uh, just to introduce, just to introduce uh, the topic of today's uh, presentation, we will be talking about um, eco art residences in rural areas in Kyrgyzstan. And uh, 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 one of the perspectives which we could uh, focus on is also how to activate outside of big city centers or outside of bigger cities like capital cities like Bishkek or Kishinev. What other opportunities do we find in smaller places in rural areas? So I think uh, pre today's presentation can make us think of this relation between bigger centers and the uh, smaller uh, places um, in rural uh, areas. Um, so uh, the whole presentation will last about one and a half hours and together including questions. So I will pass the word to our guests. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vladimir, for introduction. Um, we are also very happy that uh, we didn't know about that, but we are happy that we somehow finalize uh, this uh, educational program today. And uh, our lecture will be the last lecture in this program. And it's uh, for us, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of symbolic because uh, the topic uh, of today, it's uh, uh, the topic of the, of the program is periphery and uh, we will talk uh, about the periphery of periphery. So it's uh, it's it's uh, it's very remote uh, uh, place in uh, in, um, in the village of Kyrgyzstan, 
where we try to to create some some space for artistic activity uh, based on on idea of uh, uh, eco activism and uh, eco -te technology. Uh, talking about the uh, story behind of this, uh, uh, we we can say that uh, we have never uh thought that uh, we will be this kind of residency 20 years ago uh when uh, uh gulnara's uh, relate uh, gulnara's parents passed away and they just left us uh, land in uh, uh, near the isikul lake in kyrgyzstan and uh, for several years we have not time and we didn't know what we what we can do with this uh, with this land and uh, we were uh, very busy with our own project, with our artistic activity, with the, our exhibition. And we have very small time just to go there and just to see these places. Uh, and on the first, uh, I think uh, you, you see this first page of, of our presentation. Uh, actually, there's a picture of our land and the picture of uh, of, of the village uh, in, uh, in at uh, Sekul, uh, near the Sekul Lake. Actually, it's uh, we start to to think about this residency about uh, I don't know about maybe fifteen years ago, and uh, our first step was uh, to. To build uh, small uh, small um, basement, just to just to fix that we are here in this uh, in this land, uh, and uh, we didn't uh, we didn't uh, at that time we didn't know that what we could do uh, in, in this space. Later, of course, when we uh, start to work. Uh, uh, with our students and we start to work uh, with uh, some eco uh, projects we started we started to think about uh, the policy and about the idea of, of eco uh, art residency in this place and we start to research what kind of technology we can use uh, to build this residency what kind of idea we can follow to uh, to <clears throat> uh, to make this uh, idea alive, and um, <clears throat> we research uh, in different. With, uh, we we met different people in Kyrgyzstan, and we met some experts of uh, uh, green architecture and permaculture in Kyrgyzstan and uh, our first inspiration was to meet architects from Switzerland who built in Kyr in Kyrgyzstan several uh, several uh, buildings uh, uh, based on um, on uh, on the idea of passive uh, heating houses and uh, what what is it passive heating houses we can explain later but um, um, We can we can show that uh, first of all we think about the uh, the whole idea of uh, eco building. It means that we can use local materials and uh, we can use um, some uh, some materials which was used before. So we can use some for for example wooden material from uh, destroyed buildings destroyed old buildings so we wouldn't uh, uh, build a new uh, materials to to save forest and uh, we can uh, uh, use uh, some um, ideas of vernacular uh, architecture based on uh, some traditional architecture from uh, architecture from from uh, local traditions and so on, so on. So it's uh, it takes some time to research on these topics and uh, to meet uh, a lot of different experts and uh, 
uh, and people in Kyrgyzstan and abroad. So at the same time, we uh, in, uh, we were so busy with our with our exhibitions and uh, organizing and creating exhibition in exhibitions in uh, Bishkek. Uh, so um, we started uh, to build this residency only about seven years ago. So uh, you can see these uh, uh, pictures where our students uh, help us to collect cane reed for insulation of our, our house roof. for roof. And in August uh, 2013, we start to build, this is the land, and we start to build with our with help of our, our volunteers. And first of all, we bought um, we bought yurt because it's a very convenient shelter for for temporary uh, for living and uh, for volunteers for us to to build this house. And you can see this uh, if. Uh, Anybody don't know what what is it? Uh, so it's very light, and uh, it, we can put all this yurt on this car. You can see on the top of the car it's construction, wooden construction, and inside of the car it's a uh, uh, woolen co co cover for for the yurt. So um, this is the process of uh, building. Of the yurt because um, actually we are um, a generation from from the city, so we have not deep knowledge about how to build this uh, yurt. So uh, lo we invite local experts and local people who try to teach us how to build it, and we try to document to make documentation of that to to know and to learn to study how how fill the time for for to to do it the next time to fix it yeah it's a picture when we cover already with the with the, with the, with the woolen yeah with the felt and this is the final picture how it looks like And later, as we said, um, we tried to, first of all, um, I would like to say that um, for us, this small uh, building was, it was like five meters for three meters. It was like, you know, like laboratory of, uh, and was like testing how we can build ourselves and with the help of volunteers, uh, this building with uh, natural insulation. And with principle of uh, with all this principle of um, um, passive heating house. At the same time, as I said, that uh, we, we try to use the old uh, old uh, uh, wooden construction uh, we collected from the old houses. Here we saw this uh, uh, because uh, this is quite good quality uh, wood. Uh, it's quite dry and uh, and it's quite strong and you can use it also and quite cheap of course <laughs> even for nothing yeah <clears throat> so this is the uh, this Oops. is the process of the fixing of construction And trying to cover it with in rainy, uh, raining. Uh, it's some nice pictures from the process, and it looks like how it, how uh, this construct how it, this construction looks like uh, when it was finished or almost finished. So it was. Um, uh, very necessary to build very strong solid construction to resist of earthquakes, for example, 
and uh, and uh, some other um, uh, some other things. You can see the straw bales. Also, we collect ourselves from the local people. And also cob bricks for inner walls. So uh, if uh, probably uh, if anybody knows about cob bricks, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's like clay bricks. It's not uh, it's not like real brick. It's just uh, clay, and it's like pressed, and uh, it's much cheaper than ordinary bricks and uh, it's quite heavy and we we can use it for inner walls why only for inner walls because uh, actually this kind of bricks it's not good for insulation but it's very good for inner walls because uh, it uh, slightly collect uh, warmth uh, from 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 the from sun and uh, it can give uh, this warmth uh, in in night time. It's, it's also very important to follow this kind of technology. We also use this clay from from the ground, and this is the process of building inner wall ourselves. And it's how it looks like now, not, not now, but at that time when we built from right side, you can see this inner wall. And uh, from the left side, it will be a big window. And the uh, next step is uh, we uh, started to fill with uh, uh, straw bales. This is process with clay. It's going to recover in a wall. Talking about this uh, this construction, it will be it's it is uh, only first uh, room, and we uh, this year we make extension in this place. It will be a, and uh, it became the next uh, next room. <clears throat> So now it looks uh, not uh, next step was fill, filling with straw bales and uh, fixing it. It was uh, one of the processes how it was looks like. And important was that uh, it should be quite big uh, uh, window from the uh, from the south, because uh, it's very important to have uh, sunlight in uh, winter time when sun is low, and it can go, it can, uh, hit. it can hit um, this, uh, uh, this wall. It can uh, hit this. Uh, uh, yes, it's um, inside interior of uh, of this uh, house. And it's very important to cover with clay outside. Uh, I mean, I'll, uh, cover with clay these uh, straw bales because clay is it's very um, it's very important uh, material for for this building because it's um, have to uh, it has have to breathe somehow. And at the same time, it's uh, it's good material, like you know, like uh, to make sculpture, very plastic. You know. <laughs> you see some local visitors here, because um, actually this uh, technology was unusual for local people, and uh, there was uh, many many skeptical uh, opinions about uh, how we'll, we will build this and uh, it was a period that there will be a lot of mice in this uh, uh, house and uh, so you can see this uh, gunara tried to explain this technology and uh, there's some 
some person who was really skeptical about that. <clears throat> And of course, uh, we try to involve uh, some volunteers to to help us. And uh, at that time, it's uh, it was in two thousand and sixteen. You you see, uh, the uh, that um, almost finished house, and Gulnara tried to plant some garden in front of the house. It was the next step. And now how it looks like today. So this is our uh, land from the first step, from the first page you saw and uh, you see the uh, green garden with apple trees with the uh, uh, yes what show? Uh, you can yeah uh, this year we actually have one uh, box of apples and a little bit pears yes we, we have some we have some apples this year so um uh and uh, actually uh, our land is on the on the hill so this hill uh, is very important for us because uh, we try to save this ecosystem of this hill, not to destroy anything that in that place and uh, to save all this wild uh, uh, endemic, uh, plants. En endemic plants. And uh, it's uh, it's uh, when you when you stay on on the top of these hills and look at uh, the at the village and uh, I don't know. Did you see the the lake on the horizon? Horizon, horizon uh, or not? But it's very nice view from that place. And um, uh, as we said, we are trying to follow the principle of permaculture, and we try to uh, in the future we try to save. Uh, mm, to conservate some rainwater in these places, and uh, because we have some in the village, have some problems with uh, irrigation systems, with the uh, with the water for 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 gardens and for plants, and uh, we try to think about the gray water, how to use we can gray water. If uh, anybody knows gray water, gray water is. Uh, already used water in uh, in the kitchen or in the bathroom uh and you can use this water for for example for or from the rain or from the rain uh or so you can use it water for for plants for 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 some greens in in the garden so um At the same time, uh, when we start to build uh, uh, this house, we start to think that uh, uh, it's very important to interact with the local community in the in the village because uh, otherwise we would be some kind of aliens in the village, and uh, nobody accept us as uh, as uh, uh as village people so uh it was very impo important to integrate, integrate uh, and to do to, to do something together and we tried to um first our step was uh, uh to work with uh, school children and to try teach them about photography and we made a uh, couple of uh workshops about photography with school children we have some several uh digital cameras with us and um, uh, with uh, <clears throat> some of our students uh and with uh, with the uh, with the children school children we make we made this workshop uh, 
Yeah, of course, there was a lot of questions who we are and uh, what we are going to do. And um, uh, local people was uh, quite curious uh, what we are from and uh, what our ability and so on. So we interact and try to explain that we are artists and we try to do some impact to the to village and try to work with children and maybe to make some some project together and uh, these teachers from the school they were quite happy to interact with us and I think uh, children was also very happy so it was quite interesting how they react to this process of photography. Uh, is the process of the workshop. And some, uh, if, uh, for example, uh, this guy from, from the left, he, he, uh, mm, try to to enter to the art school and i think uh, now he is a student of art school art academy in in bishkek and the next step was uh, design of school newspaper so first step was to work about the photography how we can do the project with photography how we can um, uh choose uh good photo photos or not and we decided together with uh, our students with uh, our school children and then the next step was uh, to think about how we can use this ability of uh, of, uh, of photography and um uh, we asked them maybe we can uh do a school newspaper and uh, at school they have uh, computer class and uh, 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 with the help of our son, he is a um, graphic designer. He worked with this um, with his children, and uh, he downloaded uh, the special program of uh, graphic design, like uh, uh, Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator, and um, uh, tried to help them uh, to make workshop how they can work with this program. This is uh, some, some process. Uh, talking about the newspaper, uh, together with all these uh, uh, children, we try to, we discuss about the topics of newspaper, about the text, and what can they write to this newspaper. And uh, everybody choose some topic, for example, topic about uh, 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 important people in, Bish in, uh, in the village, uh, talking about their family issues, or uh, we propose to write about our uh, eco art residency, and they make research about that. And, uh, also, they wrote about um, uh, artistic activity in the village because they are also one artist in in this village who has his own studio there. And uh, the aim of this um, newspaper was to do something that can uh, make these uh, uh, children to be proud uh, of their village. Because usually all these people from the village, they think that uh, in the village nothing happened, nothing happening. Because uh, they think that it's ordinary life, it's very boring, boring and it's... And everybody uh, wants to go to Bishkek. Yes, and everybody wants to leave this village and uh, just go to the city, to Bishkek or other places. 
So uh, we try to find out that it's also interesting life in, in the village. And this, and for them was really surprised that uh, it's quite interesting people in the village and people in interesting events in the, in the village. And uh, they can find a lot of issues to write in this newspaper. And this is final picture. It's um, uh, it's uh, we make a presentation of this newspaper. We print out uh, this newspaper about uh, edition 100, I think, about 100 edition because it's quite small edition and uh, mostly it was a. Uh, um, uh, presentation for, for, for the local people. And for us, it was very important that all these uh, children make themselves this uh, newspaper and that uh, they use the ability of photographers, uh, they use the ability as writers and uh, journalists. They, uh, they have some documentation about the life in the village and they have some kind of i don't know uh, uh it's some kind of statement that it's uh, life in the village it's something something very interesting so uh this was um our um, impact to to the uh, school life and the lives in what relationship with the local people yes because it is very uh, difficult to integrate to, to, uh, in the village to be part of the village uh, and um, really we even more than 20 years we still um, just now begin to be a part uh, the people uh, invite us as a guests and uh, hope uh, the next year we will finish uh, extension of uh, our art residency. Yes. So this is a um, very brief uh, uh, explanation what uh, we are doing in this village and uh, what we are doing uh, uh, with our um, uh, art residency right now and uh, our plans for for the future it's um, uh, of course to finish uh, this residency uh, and to invite uh, uh, local artists and local curators and activists and uh, 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 to uh, to be in this residency because uh, when we at that place we you know it's uh, some kind of solitude uh, at the same time you can interact with uh, with the people and actually people uh when we became closer with them they're very kind and uh, they really appreciate artists um uh, and uh, they are very happy that uh, we can do something together in these places so uh uh next spring we will uh continue uh, to work with our garden, garden there, and with our building there. So, um, so we invite anybody as volunteers there. So, um, this is uh, <clears throat> this is our plans for the next year. Um, actually, it's very brief uh, presentation, and uh, if anybody has some question, we can just uh, continue. Maybe one question would be if you already hosted 
any artist in residency and uh, what kind of work did they do? Uh, actually, um, this residency was ready only this year to host some somebody, but uh, uh, due to this pandemic, nobody was in this residency. So probably next year, why not? And, and in this case, whom would you like to invite or whom did you propose this opportunity? Uh, I think um, I think it's very uh, important to to invite some people who uh, is not uh, only want to be alone in this place, but who want to who spend some time with the, or the part of his time in this residency to make some impact to the, to the local community. I think uh, it's very important that uh, this residency would have some some impact to the local life in in the village. So it can be anything. So it can be work with the with the children, or make some even make some uh, artworks in the village, or gardening, or or um, work as a volunteers in part time in this in this residency or so on so on it's 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 depends on the situation so any questions there is a question by gaia she asks uh, in the chat i would like to know if building this residency you have in mind already a long-term vision or goal and how you plan to fund it um actually we plan to make studios there so it, at least it will be two studios in this residency where uh people can artists can either work there or some creators can write some text or some media artists can work with their computers and so on so but unfortunately we have not we have no funding to support any artists to to be in this residency so uh, uh so you can you can say <laughs> You can say the artists have to find uh, themselves uh, some funding for being uh, there at the art residency. Uh, for example, we have um, we have uh, experience with the art prospect residency uh, uh, several times. Vladimir was in our residency in Bishkek. And uh, uh, two artists and create one artist and one creator from Georgia was in our residency, and uh, one creator from um, from Ukraine and one artist from Hong Kong, and uh, uh, they usually spend uh, time in 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 Bishkek. Sometimes we spent uh, just a couple of days in this residency in Nisikul. Uh, just to see the, the space and just to uh, discuss about our further plans. Uh, and we think that all of them quite, uh, uh, I don't know about Vladimir, because uh, Vladimir have no chance to be there. And uh, But mo almost all these artists were um, visited this, uh, this site and they were quite interested uh, to be in this place.
Mm, if there are any other questions or comments or maybe similar examples uh, you would like to share, I think we can start like a more informal discussion now. So feel free also to use uh, Russian language if you feel more comfortable. Probably we don't uh, uh, explain quite in details, but if anybody has some question, we can make some explanations. Uh, you, you listen to me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, I maybe not uh, understand, but it's play uh, in this place. Uh, you live uh, uh, sometimes or all time. Uh, and what happens this uh, this place when uh, no artist and uh, like, uh, for example, now or or. I don't know if no activity. Uh, what happens there? Yes, it's uh, it's uh, nobody here now, nobody there, uh, because in winter time we are uh, mostly active in in Bishkek. But um, and uh, our neighbors usually looks uh, look look to uh, take care of this place, uh, and we became really good friends. Uh, they take care of the garden and they take take care of the the house uh, and uh, we we pay a small fee for them just to do it and uh, 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 I, I would say that uh, in these several years we became really good friends with all, all our neighbors around and uh, it's uh, for us it's very good sign and um, of course, uh, it's it's good question what we would do uh, next years when, for example, in, in winter time. But uh, I do hope that um, it could be used only in winter time because, uh, uh, for example, we, we we are going to spend more and more time at, at that place just to to make this place more active. And do you plan any exhibitions there or something? Not, yeah. not yet. Not yet. In that place? Not yet. I mean, for example, if uh, international or local artists come for residency and work, uh, can they have any opportunity to exhibit uh, their work or present it somehow? Maybe it's ca kind of a house of culture nearby or whatever museum um we have a couple of options uh, where it can be exhibited uh, it also depends on on art for example if uh, it's uh, it's some artwork for interior for example we can use uh, school uh, or we can use also sanatorium there quite interesting place it's it's uh, building of soviet modernism of 70s and we also have some small museum dedicated of one a local artist so it's a couple of options where we can do it and we also would like to transform one of uh, container uh in in, in our space into some kind of uh, exhibition space and studio. So it will be white walls where artists can exhibit something on the wall or at the same time to work there. So it's, uh, it's different options. But uh, I think mostly uh, this space, this art residency, uh, which for some artists could, 
who are mostly working with interaction as in with mm -hmm. interaction, uh, with people as like actions or performances or maybe some sculpturing outside uh, i mean outdoor um mm -hmm. uh, making some i don't know some land art or so on so it's it could be some different uh, different um workshop there so we have a lot of uh, examples uh, how in this kind of places in the rural places uh, uh happening some workshops for example in russia or i saw this kind of workshop in um, jordan uh and i think it's quite interesting when uh, artists uh, gather in the village and try to transform this village into something interesting. So it's also very uh, inspiring sometimes. And the, uh, for, for, for villagers also it's very interesting because it's, uh, um, they ma it makes them proud of, of their village. It's something happened worse, uh, something, uh, something uh happen happening in this village and it's uh, for them it's also very important mm -hmm. i remember that uh, uh just several years ago it was a gathering of uh, arts collaboratory meeting and uh, if anybody mm -hmm. knows about that arts collaboratory it's a global network and uh, once a year they have meeting in somewhere and at that time it was meeting in Bishkek and group 705 they host this uh, meeting and it was about 65 I think 70 persons who came from Latin America from Southeast Asia from Africa and so on so it's uh, all of them came to our space to this residency just to see the the process and um, <clears throat> and uh, our neighbors were quite interested in that and uh, they tried to come to our place and make some photography with the, this our guest and so on so on so it's 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 something new for them it's uh, it's uh, inspiring them it's not it's make it makes some impact to the to the I don't know, uh, self-consciousness of people in the village. It's very hard to, to explain, but uh, uh, even, even from monetary, uh, you know, the, uh, in, 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 in summertime they host some, some tourists, for example, and they, for them it's also very important to, to host somebody. So it's, uh, when we uh, would make some, for example, some workshop for wider audience, for example, and uh, they also can be hosted by our neighbors. So it's uh, also very important for them. So it's it's quite complex uh, issue, and uh, uh, to be in the village, it's uh, it's 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 very interesting, by the way. Uh, I I would have. Um... Actually, I have a few questions, but I will maybe start to uh, continue with this topic. Uh, did you try to analyze some social problems which exist in the village uh, in terms of lack of work or maybe um, some uh, ecological problems related to recycling of uh, waste? Um, and if you thought to deal with these topics, like, do you think an artist can find answer to this kind of structural pro problems, uh, like migration for work or uh, migra Because this is what uh, makes villages also not very attractive places, lack of work or lack of infrastructure, lack of uh, school. Uh, what? if you try to analyze what kind of issues did you find and uh, do you yourself trying to solve it or you try to think of other 
solutions uh, for that. Of course, there are a lot of problems in, in the village, and um, uh, uh, it's a lot of migration from the village, and uh, uh, I think everybody knows about that. And uh, when we start uh, to make this uh, a newspaper with our with the school children, we talk a lot about these different issues in uh, in the village, and of course, uh, they try to reflect on uh, on this newspaper. And uh, one of the one of the uh, article was about migration, and at the same time, a problem of uh, alcoholism in the village. So it's. Uh, a lot of people drink there. I mean, they are really hard drinkers in, in the village. Uh, probably it's getting uh, less now because of um, the influence of Muslim now. And uh, Muslim tradition became stronger in the village. But still, it's, it's, it's a big problem. At the same time, it's a problem of uh, pollution. Uh, you know, it's, uh, for example, people try to hit with uh, some garbage. They just try to, to use it, to, to use garbage in the oven to just heating, for, for heating. And of course, it's, it's very bad for, for the air. And in, in, in winter time, we try to, to discuss with our neighbors, with the villagers, that uh, uh, how, how dangerous uh, this uh, uh, for, for, for the health of their children, for themselves, for, for the health of their neighbors, and so on, for the uh, village at all. So um, I think we have some, some, some results, some, some good results. Because, uh, uh, for instance, our neighbors don't really hit now with the, with the garbage, with the trash. And uh, they know that we don't like this. And at the same time, they understand. I hope that they understand that they, it's very dangerous for themselves. Um, uh, I think they also appreciate it that we try to work with their children. I think it's uh, for them it's very uh, important, and uh, um, for us it's also very important because, well, first of all, to discuss about the ecological problems and about recycling and about any issues, we, we should start at school uh, with school children. And then, uh, because uh, adults, it's uh, it's very very hard to, to discuss with them about that. Uh, they have their own opinion, and uh, um, I think you understand. Especially in the village, because uh, if you are outside, from outside, if you are from the city, they uh, don't really uh, try to listen to you because you are kind of uh, alien for them. Stranger. Yeah, so um, uh, economic issue is an important local issue. And uh, we can, uh, of course, I wonder where, what, how to balance this, uh, like to convince the neighbor not to hit anymore uh, with uh, garbage. But then the question is, what other uh, resources the neighbor has to hit with? So how do you see this kind of situation? Uh, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's it's a good question, but uh, it's uh, you know uh, everything started from the mind, and they, if they understand that uh, it's dangerous for them, they start to think how they can solve this problem, and uh, this is very important, I think. 
uh, they they hit uh, with the with the trash and with the garbage not because they have not possibility to hit with uh, with wood or with coal. It's just because they don't think about that. They don't think that uh, they think that it's very simple just to collect all these plastic bottles uh and just uh, put it in, in into the oven so it's it's very easy but when they try to think about that i think they try to solve this problem we are, we are artists we are not like you know uh problem solvers that uh, can provide any, everything but we try to discuss with them and i think it's very uh very important that they have some consciousness and self-consciousness and uh, they try to start to sell to solve this uh, problem and to work maybe together with somebody to collaborate with somebody and this is the first step i think so, so your uh, your model is actually create a space for discussion and invite other people to join this discussion, so that there is a kind of public, small public sphere in the village, which makes ideas circulate. Yeah, it's uh, it's very uh, it's very simple explanation, but actually it's very complex issue. You, you cannot just come and discuss with them. Because if you just come and say something, they they would not listen to you. Because uh, uh, it should be something very valuable for them, or you should be close for them, and then they start to to listen to you. Or you can do something yourself and just show them how it can be. So you can show some examples. And that's why for us it's very important to build this house and to show them how important to do this kind of house and don't don't use any heating system because passive house it's it's a um, house without any heating systems i mean traditional heating system maybe less heating than than usually but you try uh, to use a solar system in maximum to use uh, energy of uh, of sun and uh, to design the, this house uh, in a very effective way. So this is very important. And when they understand this, probably they start to do something in this way. Uh, this is one of the uh, option, I think. And another option, I think, uh, when uh, you try to discuss with children they listen to you very very careful carefully and uh, this is one of the i think uh, solution to to start interacting with the local people Even in the city, when we, you know, in in autumn, a lot of people try to burn leaves in the city, and when to, you try to stop them, they said, "Who are you? You are nothing for me." So even in the city, a lot of people very skeptical uh, when you say something for them. So it's uh, you have to be, you know, very strong to and. Uh, not to be tired to to discuss with people <laughs> anyone else uh, because i have a question but <laughs> i don't want to <laughs> take too much time Okay, I'll go forward. Um, the question is about uh, cultural infrastructure in Kyrgyzstan, in Bishkek and around. Uh, 
a residency is quite uh, is quite uh, um, it's it's old but it's in the same time new format for artists to produce and uh, it's old because we know this uh, uh, artistic camps from soviet period uh, yeah. um, plein air this kind of practice it existed uh, before and it was based on the union of artists infrastructure uh, which had a summer house for writers summer house for visual artists and they could use these places for their work uh, but after collapse of soviet union a lot of this infrastructure disappeared or uh, became decayed to a, to a degree it's difficult to restore it or to recover it um, like what uh, what uh, what is the current uh, situation today in kyrgyzstan in general maybe and uh, if your project makes um, brings a different uh, perspective to decentralization idea like to take or to create spaces also outside of the um, uh, outside of Bishkek I believe in Bishkek there are some residency programs or maybe not even in Bishkek can you a little bit tell us about that uh, um, yes you are right that in Soviet Union was um, uh, under the uh, artist union was uh, many uh, studios for to work uh, by the way uh, we first uh, uh, we, we met with Gulnara in this kind of uh, studio in uh, in Yurmala in uh, in uh, Latvia long time ago in Soviet time and uh, uh, talking about Kyrgyzstan, uh, I think we we had not any this kind of. Uh, we had uh, this kind small, of uh, small house. Um, house of. Uh, Belong to uh, uh, artist union, but it's uh, mostly there some kind of plenaires or just they can host. I think um, about two or three artists uh, at once. And now it's getting uh, popular. Some some artists from artists union they organize uh, some art residency in the in the south of uh, uh, south coast of uh, physical lake. Uh, mostly there for painters. And um, uh, we have some some temporary camps uh, time by time, uh, uh, it also at Sikul during summertime. So it's uh, it's 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 different uh, different formats, and uh, it's getting more and more popular in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, this kind you know, this kind of idea of uh, art residency. Uh, it's they have all the, all these residences. They have their own policy. They have their own idea and uh, mm, uh, their their own artists who participate in this residency. Uh, uh, for us, uh, we have not announced officially about our residency because we uh, not finished not finished it uh, this building so. Uh, but for us, it's uh, very important, first of all, to host uh, artists from contemporary artists from from Bishkek and Central Asia, and then, uh, if it's possible, to host some people from inter I mean international artists and creators. Uh, so. Um, uh, um, sorry, I missed your um, missed your question. It's it's um, kind of double question. On one hand, what kind of infrastructure 
cultural or contemporary for contemporary art we find today in Kyrgyzstan. Ah, yes. And if your residency develops this direction, in and in which way you see it, your contribution to, because as I said, uh, a lot of these spaces, cultural spaces, either they are classical, exhibiting classical art, traditional art, or they disappeared because they collapsed or they were neglected mm -hmm. and yes and partially you answered on the second question like uh, how your residency works in in this network of infrastructure uh, mm. um, we have not this uh, infrastructure of contemporary art in traditional sense we have not this uh, contemporary art galleries in Bishkek. We have not special uh, exhibition spaces. Uh, we have only museums of, of fine arts, where sometimes can be exhibited also contemporary art. But we have some institutions in Bishkek, like 705, uh, Laboratory C, uh, our institution like Artist and uh, Studio Museum, uh, who actually try to work with different projects. They have their own agenda and their own projects. Uh, and uh, sometimes all these um, institutions try to collaborate with each other because community of uh, contemporary art is quite small in, in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, and uh, uh, in our vision, we can host any of these uh, institutions and any uh, of these artists and curators. And some of them also try to host uh, some international artists and curators. For example, 705, I think several times they host some artists from South uh, America and uh, uh, it is arts so yes, they in in the frame of network of arts collaboratory, and uh, um, just recently, a Studio Museum they announced uh, Dacha art residency because uh, Ulan Japarov, uh, one of the leader of the Studio Museum, uh, they have their own Dacha. And uh, they try to use it as a residency and mostly for, I mean, the local, I mean, I mean some brief interventions and some workshop for children. And it's quite interesting because they host different uh, artists who try to uh, realize some of their ideas on, on, the, on, the, on the site. And at the same time, maybe to work with the uh, children, just I think a couple of days ago, uh, it was workshop of uh, uh, Rafshan who make uh, who work with uh, with children, and uh, I, th I think it was quite interesting. So it's uh, different uh, projects in different uh, residency, and some some residency like Lanjapar residency. It's uh, quite uh, it's like like temporary residency when they just use it for one or two days or even for several hours so because it's very close to the city it's it takes about i think half an hour to get there so uh it's it's very different ideas and very different um, projects according the situation in kyrgyzstan because uh due to the um, limited funding here we, we we have not any uh funding from from the government i mean contemporary art in, in kyrgyzstan and we all depend on international funding so that's why we need to be very flexible at the same time to work as a partisan partisan style you know to do something uh to do some actions, maybe brief actions, but at the same time, it should be very effective and uh, very important for the local community. 
Yeah, it's a, it's one of the questions. How do we develop local uh, <clears throat> uh, artistic scene if there is no local funding? What kind of infrastructure do we create? What kind of programs do we create for for the for the for the local artistic scene to develop? Because the situation is very different from Soviet period when all the infrastructure was public, there were a lot of money in the art field. Today, basically, it's like uh, it's supported due to private initiatives and the total withdrawal of the state from this field. And the, in this case, your residency is an important base for the local artistic scene to gather around and to produce or to think about art. And also they have a real context, the context of the village, mm -hmm. so that it's not just isolated residency, but it's a residency in a very deep social economic context like an opportunity to for artists to to think about yes it's it's strange but um in this place in the village you can be isolated because uh you know you can just walk half an hour and you will be in the high mountains or you can walk 15 minutes and you will you will be on the coast of the of the lake so part of your day you can be com completely isolated but at the same time you uh this residency uh located in the middle of the village so you can just walk outside of the territory and meet our neighbors and talk with them discuss or laughing or i don't know Tell some stories or listen some stories. So it's uh, it's it's uh, it depends on on the on the people and the, on the participant. So I enjoy this place or we enjoy this place because it's have different opportunities. So you can be alone if you want. For example, one day you can be completely alone. You can walk deep to the mountains. It takes one hour. It will be very high you can reach snow in this place with the, with the car of course but if you can walk it also depends on on the situation and also we have some wild places on the coast you can be completely alone in place uh, so it depends uh, on your mood so this is that's why i like it uh, if i i would i would like to be alone i i, I can do it very easily so I, I think it's very important for the artists and for the thinkers to be sometimes isolated. And that's why sometimes I appreciate this lockdown because it gave us, a, <laughs> it gave us a possibility to be alone somehow. There is one more question from Gaia. Do you feel that international funding conditions somehow your work i i cannot really understand если международное финансирование как-то ограничивает вашу работу или направляет ее какое-то русло именно we have we have no any international funding right now and uh, everything we do we do with our own funding with, with our own money so uh with the help of volunteers and our relatives so nobody tell us what to do okay <laughs> now i was asking this because um in some countries i mean talking to independent artists that, as you are uh, setting up activities residences and so on they were lamenting that there were there was no uh, state funding available but they were at the same time lamenting and complaining about it, that to get international funds they had any way to set to respond to some specific let's say call or agendas that sometimes was really in conflict with their idea of uh, 
being uh, really independent. So I was just wondering if in Kyrgyzstan you, you had the same dilemma, let's say, or um, problem. Of course, uh, we work with different projects and we were supported during our activity. We were supported many times with different funds. It was uh, Soros Foundation and was Christensen Fund. For example, uh, to start uh, uh, this residency, we were supported by Christensen. And cre policy of Christensen Fund, it's mostly it's biodiversity and cultural di diversity. So I don't know whether we fit this, their ideas and whether they were happy when we complete this uh, project, but we try to do what we want. Mm. And um, probably they were, they were not completely happy because, you know, um, what is it biodiversity or what is it cultural diversity? It's very wide, wide issue. So we try to, to, to be in this issue at the same time to, to do what we want to do. Uh, but they help us to buy this uh, yurt, by the way, what we show, because it was very important for us that they help us to be, to, to we have this yurt and we use this yurt for in summertime, because it's very nice to stay there. And if you have some possibility to stay in yurt, you can understand. What is it? So uh, it was in their um, policy, this kind of supporting that was, we were, I think, happy. Uh, it was only one time when we have supporting from the international funds to this project of our presidency and most of our funding, it's our, our own. Mm -hmm. And uh, and this uh, any any funds give uh, for building constructions so that's why we try to minimize uh, the cost of the building and try to use local materials because it's very important for the green technology we don't use uh, uh, transportation uh, for long distance because it's also not so ecological issue and we try to involve local workers to help us and we pay local workers to help uh, and to to build this house so it's uh, it's very important to interact and to use everything around and uh, I think it's also a very green idea. I don't know whether I, I uh, we answer for your question. No, 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 you did, you did. I'm just, uh, I was just wondering, how do you see, I mean, your residency? You think it should uh, anyway be taken care of, ideally from uh, a public institution or, should be really independent and completely self-sustainable, even economically. Um, I don't know, these are the questions also that <laughs> I always ask myself when I yeah. start something. <laughs> it's the big dilemma, so what it means to be independent, how to be independent, what can you be, <laughs> what can you really do in the long term and so on. Then there was, uh, yeah, I was wondering, uh, of course, it, it's a uh, it's, uh, it's good question for us because for long term, of course, we would like, uh, uh, if it could be self-sufficient um, and if it could be public, uh, it could be very good, I think. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's, it's private. It's our own property and uh, we take care of this place and the... Uh, uh, we build this policy and we build all this situation. But uh, further, I think uh, it could be very good if uh, it could be available for public. This is our uh, dream. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and the... Uh...
And um, uh, my question, uh, you see uh, yourself uh, like uh, curators of uh, this place. I mean, uh, you have some vision uh, what, uh, I don't know, what uh, should, uh, will be there in, uh, during the next time. And uh, you put, for example, artists or some volunteers inside con concept of uh, your vision or it's somehow uh, common process some horizontal where uh, everybody decide what uh, future how they see if they work there or um, for, for me interesting this format some uh, balance between for example community and the uh, Uh, like artistic uh, ambitions and also owner uh, ownership because uh, of course you, you you have right and it's like your place but uh, um, in same time uh, how I understand you, you try uh, build some uh, also community around and how, how this uh, relation uh, happens maybe you can answer Uh, uh, I think it is more uh, as idea it actually, but it is very difficult uh, and it takes time to uh, get the good relationships with, uh, uh, and understanding with uh, uh, contemporary artists and the local people because local uh, locals they even haven't maybe never uh, went to the museum and not so familiar with the art. So it is a question, of course. But I think uh, uh, the first step, we have to uh, finish our uh, uh, building our art residency. And after that, we will see. And if we, it is interesting idea, we're very open for um, all ideas, if it uh, really fits for a uh, village and they, it is interesting for artists i think um, every time it can be <laughs> some kind of uh, solutions of course we uh, right now we are, uh, as you said we are sort of uh, creators of this place and we create this policy of this place and policy of this uh, residency uh, And we try to choose maybe some artists and invite some artists to that place because we have some vision. Uh, but everything we do, we do according to the situation and according to the needs of this place and of this, of this village, I think. Because uh, otherwise, we cannot live there. We need to, we need to interact with local community. Uh, I think it, this is one of the uh, first conditions in this uh, in our place. Um, and second, I think, um, as Gunara said, we are always open to any ideas. Uh, when we last year we invite our friends there, and they have some, you know, every time fresh eyes, they can. Tell something, and they, of course, they uh, any uh, invited artist or um, creator, maybe or writers or anybody who can participate in this residency also can uh, make some impact of uh, further development of uh, policy of this place. Um, Uh, we have some experience to be in this kind of residency when we spent uh, some time in California uh, several years ago. We maybe you know the uh, space of uh, quite known artists in the United States. It's uh, Andrea Zito. Anybody knows about this artist? It's uh, you can just Google. It's it's very very interesting place in in in, in the desert of uh, California, and um, she also have uh, 
in the desert they have her own studio and they have she has uh, some kind of cabins for for the visitors for for the uh, people who can stay in this residency and we like very much this idea the idea that actually this residence is free of charge for, for anybody who can stay but she can choose this artist first of all and oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, and they can make some impact uh, to this residence they can just bring some ice for for example for for um, sort of refrigerator it's not refrigerator but special ices for boxes where you can save some food for example in in the desert and uh, to bring some gasoline to heat and so on yeah, but uh, and uh, the most important thing is that part of your day one hour one, per, or one or two hours per day you can do something for this residency i mean anything they she called this uh, hours hours of power so uh, any uh, everybody who stay in this residence they gather together and just clean up their kitchen or something else so we also spent uh, we also try to help and i think it's very interesting idea when the, first of all this you policy. have this policy it's uh, you have some impact to the development of this residency and take care of this residency at the same time you are working together with other artists you are collaborate with them you're talking with them you discuss or so on so on it's 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 very interesting idea so we were quite um uh inspired by this um yeah it's uh was um thank you for for answer it was uh, some general question about the uh, role of uh, curator in uh, uh, non-institutional context i mean uh, like for what they need and i i for example see it's a uh, role of curator also like some uh, mediator uh, between place and the uh, people who live in this place and artists who come because usually curator for such, uh, we, we can call it curator or just local mm, expert somehow. Uh, it's a person who, for example, live and some st start with understand this place and know some rules and uh, all this context. And uh, how I see it's a task uh, for artists, for example, who come for one week or one month, of course, he don't have this experience and don't understand what should he do it's not gallery where uh, have kind of same r rules everywhere if it's artistic gallery it's clear what should you do and in, in this white clean space but uh, in in uh, like village uh, in city it's not ga gallery there is people they somehow um, build this place they live there and um, it's also a question that we have uh, here in moldova when work outside uh, about maybe it's here a uh, curator work more not with aesthetics but more with ethics uh, like uh, what uh, and um, somehow med mediate this process of adapting artists and uh, uh, make um, not not make mistakes maybe that uh, of course uh, can be person first time and place uh, yeah, it's more like comment maybe from my side. Yes. Yeah, <clears throat> we agree. Um, we don't have so much time left. I think we already have one hour and a half. So if anyone would like to ask uh, maybe the last question uh, or comment, um, um, maybe one, one uh, if not, I will <laughs> do it. Uh, uh, one uh, question for for me is, uh, what is your international network? Because if you would like to be part of a, 
uh, to collaborate with other residency programs you do already like we do through art prospect but if this particular place would if you see it in a specific relation to other similar maybe residency programs or places maybe rural uh, um, residences in rural areas um, so <clears throat> if you plan anything like that uh, to to put it on the map and which map and then uh, the question would be like from which geography what kind of geography you shortly said it's uh, bishkek central asia and world so if we go beyond central asia what regions are you more interested in I think uh, it's. Uh, I think it doesn't matter actually what 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 artists are, are from. It can be from the United States, or, or from Moldova, or from Moldova, or uh, from Georgia, for example. We have very nice experience with artists from Georgia, Nini Khrushvili, a couple of years ago when she came first of all into rural places uh, to spend time one month with our friends at Isikul. and then she came to the to, to the city and interact with the, our students and the, with the school children so it depends on on, on artists how how artists feel yes uh, i want to say that uh, she stay with the, uh, in the farm and she is very interested in the herb uh, plants and uh, she really help them and uh, live with this family uh, and it is just very rural place in Isikul it is more far than our place uh, and after that she made a, a, a brilliant uh, workshop with our students I think uh, she was very happy and we also <laughs> it's yes. like uh, this collaboration it's uh, really very good because uh, uh, I, I understand uh, that uh, uh, that uh, uh, every artist uh, have a own idea own aim uh, and um, it's uh, and uh, we also will uh, help him uh, help uh, uh, artists to to um, to reach uh, this uh, um, maybe his target towards uh, his um, um, try to uh, help him to make his uh, own uh, research or in some kind of his creative um, aim but also uh, if uh, uh, the Artists also very uh, open uh, to make some impact for this place because um, um, we have to find some ways how to integrate uh, uh, and how to make more close town and village because it is like a, in a very opposite. Uh, opposite uh, line lines how to say opposite uh, points in the line and uh, uh, the uh, the people uh, it's like uh, uh, in the village like the uh, abandoned. Uh, abandoned yes abandoned so um i don't know and it is not that we are teach them uh, we also learn a lot of from the locals uh, it is a good, very good uh, 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 and why we are very interested and in to build uh, the um, the house and want to live uh, in, in this place so it is a two side uh, interest interesting interests <laughs> Of course, it's. Uh, I think it's um, uh, uh, when we say about the post-Soviet countries. Of course, uh, 
artists from post-Soviet countries, they are more familiar with the, with the context and they can easily understand or we can easily explain them about the local situation. But I think sometimes it doesn't matter because the artists from Hong Kong, for example, can also understand this if uh, artists quite sensitive. And as Maxim said, it's uh, artists has to be quite open and sensitive to the local situation. And uh, this is the quality of real artists, I think, when he is really sensitive. I think this is very important. It doesn't matter what, what artists are from. <clears throat> So uh, I uh, propose then to, if there are no more other comments, or I propose then that we finish here because I believe it's still very late. It's already very late in Bishkek, uh, as uh, maybe a bit earlier than last time, but still it's quite late, I suppose. And uh, yes, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, openness and for agreeing to be part of our program. And I hope we will um, uh, at least hear you next year, but maybe we can also meet next year uh, in some place, maybe in your finished residency or in Kishinev or somewhere else. Thank you very much and thanks to all participants in the discussion. We finalize our public program here and we will uh, think of something for next year and we will let you know uh, as soon as possible. Have a great evening, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your patience. And, and uh, for uh, <clears throat> opportunity to be a part of your uh, program. program. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Yeah. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.